Hi, everyone. Michael Brown back with you. Welcome back to Educator.com's Adobe Photoshop Elements Beginning and Intermediate Course. In the past few lessons, we've been taking a very close look at the editor workspace. We've looked at the toolbox and all of the individual tools and options, the options bin. We've looked at the menu bar and all the drop-down menus. We've looked at the options bar with the buttons across the top. And the remaining two items are the task bar across the bottom and the panel bin at the right. The panel bin is extremely powerful, equally as powerful, if not more so, than the tools or the menus. All of your work is going to be done with the toolbox, the various items under drop-down menus, and working in layers. Layers just add so much power to um, the functionality of Photoshop Elements. Just for example, the title box right here. I can take the logo and just move an individual layer and reassign. Let's say I wanted to move it down here, and I wanted to move the title up to the top, and then put this in below it instead and just redesign the whole thing. I can undo both of those. But that's one of the things that you can do with layers. You can turn layers on and off. I have a blank layer at top where I'm going to be drawing stuff, and we can always turn it off and turn it on. We can also delete the items off of it. Enormous functionality in layers. But I get ahead of myself. Sorry about that. In this lesson, we're going to take a look at the taskbar, the photo bin, and the panel bin. And that will wrap up everything in the workspace, and we can get on with images. So let's get started with the taskbar and the photo bin at the same time. Actually, let me get those squiggles off there. They look a little unsightly. And we'll just go ahead and start over the taskbar and the photo bin. Down across the bottom of the workspace, you see a series of buttons. This is called the taskbar. In early versions, earlier versions of Photoshop Elements, this is Elements 10 workspace, there is a photo bin. It's called the project bin. There is no taskbar. Now, let's go ahead and go back to the title. And let's start from the left and work our way across. The photo bin, if you click the button, up pops the photo bin. It was called the project bin in Photoshop Elements 10. You see it right down there. It's open. Now it's called the photo bin. And all of your open files are running right here. If there are more open files than um, there are shown that can fit in this line, it will make a double, a uh, second or third row with a um, an adjustment bar on the right. Okay, so there you have it. You have the option to close it by the downward facing arrow at the far right of the bin, and you can always open and close simply by hitting the photo bin button. You also have a little list menu that has a show grid check mark. When I uncheck it, you notice that it's hard to see maybe on your screen. Between the thumbnails, there are no lines or no separations. If you check the show grid, you get the little lines that separate them into individuals. I kind of like that, an option. At the upper left of the photo bin, right now it says show open files and the arrow, a drop down menu. This is very cool. Here are all of your albums in the organizer. For example, if I want to see my Red Flowers album, there they are. And here's the scroll bar to see all of the images in the Red Flowers album. We'll go back to open files. And you can open directly, so it kind of lets you access the most frequently used photos that you've made into albums that are in organizer without even having to leave the editor. Very cool.